Hello everyone, I'm your tech friend AJ. I'm going to be starting a video series hopefully helping you get a better hold of technology even without any coding experience. The first automation we're going to be making this video is an automated email responder assistant. Here's a little diagram of how it works. So when you get a new email from your inbox, it will go into our automation. So we're going to be making this automation with a tool called make.com. Make.com is a very easy to use, simple, no code platform. Um, once the email comes into make.com, we're going to be sending the email to an open AI assistant. Open AI has the best AI models at the moment. So we're going to be utilizing their services, a particular one calling the assistants that they can make, which have access to a knowledge base. And this knowledge base can be made up of previous sent emails or facts and knowledge um, that you have just in a text file. And then it'll draft. Um, an email response and that will go into your Gmail drafts and you can choose to edit it or send it. Okay, so first step is to create an OpenAI account. You link your credit card with billing and we'll create an OpenAI assistant with your knowledge base. So you do that on openai.com, create an account, go to platform.openai.com, go into settings and billing and make sure you've linked and set up your payment contacts here, payment methods here. And then we want to create the assistance. So once you're in assistance, click create. I'm going to make AJ's email responder. You will be responding to emails based on the knowledge base provided. Pretty simple instructions and we'll use GPT-4 Turbo. It's a pretty fast and capable model. And here is where we need to turn on retrieval and add file. So this is where we upload our knowledge base. We can just upload PDF files or text files. Just go through your products and like curate a text file of all the knowledge you want this assistant to be able to access. For me, I've actually got a couple of sample email responses. So it's really nice if you can um, give it in the format of this response of a set and pull response. That way it can actually know your style of responding to email. So I've just had my rate for a video on TikTok and Instagram. So you just add that file and then upload the file from your computer. And that's it. We have the assistant set up. Really simple, less than a minute. Well, I mean, gathering the data could take longer, but once you have all the data, setting it up is really easy. Okay, now we'll go to make.com. Then we make the make.com account. Once you've signed up, you'll get your dashboard and then this button on the top right, click uh, create a new scenario and we will see this big plus sign. Click that big plus sign and search Gmail. I'm gonna click Gmail and then the first trigger, watch email. Click that and it'll get you to connect here. I've connected with my account and choose the folder you wanna watch. We're just, I'm just gonna listen into my inbox and criteria. We'll do only unread emails, so as they come in and we'll keep them unread. You can change this to have them be read after the we've done processing them, but I'm just gonna keep them unread. I wanna keep them as just one email at a time and um, from we'll just have it run from now on. You can have it only run at a specific date or you know be more finicky about it. After that first node is done, you click this plus sign next to it to add another module and we're gonna search for open AI. Then we're gonna click message and assistant. So this one will interface with our assistant. And now you wanna actually add um, your open API, open AI API key. So to create this, you go to this link that they've put here in a new tab and click create new circuit key, type whatever you want as the key, probably something that you remember like email responder and then click create secret key. And then it'll give you this key. You can click this copy button to copy it and go back here and paste it in here. And you also need your organization ID. So copy this URL as well that has your org settings and open that in a new tab. And you'll see it's kind of grayed out here in this box, your organization ID. So control C to copy that or command C if you're on Mac, go back to this text box and paste it in there and click save. I've already done it, so here's my connection. And now here is the message that we want to send to the assistant. So we're pretty much just going to say, respond to this email, colon, shift enter to go to a new line. And then I'm going to press tildes, three tildes. So this is the button above tab on most keyboards. Um, this is a really nice way that like um, AIs can understand like quoted text essentially. So three tildes and then 
we see here that we have access to all the all the information from the G, the email. So we actually want the content of the email. So text content right here under subject. We'll click that and we can see that now that there's a red box saying text content. And after that, we'll do another shift enter to come to a new line and close this quotation off with another three tildes. And then here under assistant, we'll find the assistant we just made, AJ's email responder, and we'll leave thread ID blank because we'll have a new thread for each email. We don't need to continue that. And that's it, okay. And that's it for linking our assistant. And then we'll create another node and this will be the another Gmail node, create a draft. So this will be creating a draft to send back. What folder should we put it in? I like to put it in, so put it in drafts. Um, two, we'll add the recipient. So we want to send it back to the email, uh, to the to the sender that sent it to us. So when we click um, email address one, we can see that there's a sender email address right here. Sender email address, um, subject, and we could just do re colon space, whatever the subject that they put. And the content, we will have the content from the, the OpenAI assistant. So in the OpenAI up the top content, you bring that, open that up with clicking the arrow next to it. So open up text and click value. So it'll be content text value is what it should look like in the box here. And that's it. Click OK. And we're done. We've created the automation. Now we can um, test it out by sending ourselves an email. So I'm going to send myself an email. I'm going to be like, hey, tech friend. How much do you charge for a TikTok video? So I've asked it a question that it'll have to reach into my knowledge base to be able to answer. So I'm going to send this and I'll wait till I see it in my inbox. Okay, there we go. I have this new email in my inbox. So I'm not going to open it so it remains unread. And we're going to go to make.com and run, click, click this run once button here. So it'll run this automation once so we can see how it goes. So it's checking for new emails. It's found this new email. So it's going to send it to OpenAI. And now OpenAI will take a little while to draft the response. We'll just wait for it. And the response is drafted. So now we can go back to our email and we can see here we have the response to the email. Hey there, I charge 400 USD for a post on TikTok. Perfectly what I said from my knowledge base. And then if we were happy with that, we can just click send. And there we go. I didn't have to write any emails. And then throughout the day, I can go through my drafts and see what I want to send and what I want to keep. And that's it. And if you want this to run automatically, instead of running it once, you can turn on the scheduling tab here. So you can have it, it's default running it every 15 minutes, but you can run that at whatever interval you want. You can set that yourself. And there you go. That's the whole tutorial. In less than 15 minutes, we've set up an automatic AI responder to respond to all of our emails on Gmail. I hope you guys liked that video. Please make sure to subscribe and follow me on all of your favorite channels. And please comment down what you want to automate in your life. And I'll try to figure out a way to automate it without any code, make it really easy, provide this content, or what else you want to see. Maybe it's not automation. What would, what do you wish you could do with either AI, software, etc. Um, if you want to book in a consultation with me, I have a link in my bio. Otherwise, if you just have a quick question, feel free to DM me or um, email me. Hope you guys have a good day. I'll catch you next time.